Alrighty guys, good afternoon, Madman Mandelo coming at you from the Garden Del Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Hope you're all doing well. And well, we've got, uh, let's see here, we've got seven consoles that we're going to go ahead and present. Alright, and the first one we're going to start off with is Mr. Stacy Hamlet, or I should say, Dexter. <laughs> and Dexter purchased a console off the website from us, and uh, well, here it is, it's all done. Now, he ordered a 32 gig flash, but what I did was, is I was like, hey... It's Halloween. What the hell? So I gave him a 120 gig on us. All right. So anyway, uh, it's got a 120 gig drive. It's fully loaded, ready to go with college football revamped and all of our mod menus and our stealth server and all that kind of good stuff. So uh, let's fire it up and let's see what she does. This is RGH3, by the way. Okay. Chipless install, of course. And we're going to sync this controller up here. There we go. She booted. Life is good. All right, we're going to boot into Aurora. We're going to get our notifications and all that kind of good stuff. And then we're going to go through this little puppy for you. All right, and then once we're done here, what I'm going to do is, is uh, we'll check out the stealth server, make sure that she's up and online. And uh, all is right with the world. So, all right, let's see here now. We'll start off here. Okay, Xbox 360. We start off at our dashboard. We'll work our way through. you got some titles on there, of course. you got College uh, Hoops 2K8. you got Grand Theft Auto 4. By the way, that is also online and playable. And you can use Buffington Mod Loader, which is on this thing already. Just hold it on the left button, push it on the left thumbstick. Um, the menu will pop up. You'll be able to get online and run around the world and see people and uh, put freaking weird stuff on them or whatever, okay? Then, of course, you got Modern Warfare 3. you got College Football Revamped, okay? That is the latest edition, version 18 for right now for the Xbox. All right, she's all good to go there. So now, we'll go ahead. Xbox Live Arcade. you got a couple of Live Arcade games on there. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And then you have your emulators. You got uh, Sega, Super Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, and back to Sega. As much as I can fit on there. All right, now, we'll go ahead. We'll go to the Xbox 360 dashboard. Make sure that she's up right and tight. There you are. Go again, Dexter Hamlet. You're on Alliance Live. We've got 120 reserve days left. Got it good. Okay. Bypass the sign in. And you will see that it's up as it's online with a good KB. Now, hitting the guide button, of course, we have X Community, which is shared amongst four servers. Uh, this is for matchmaking. It works hand in hand with Microsoft's matchmaking as well. Okay, so as you can see, there's a bunch of uh, sessions going on. Whoever said that there's nobody playing or anything like that on Xbox Live doesn't know what the hell they're talking about. Okay, because <laughs> as you can see, I see sessions, I see players, I see all kinds of good stuff. Okay, that is joinable. All right, so you got your Black Ops 2 going on. You got GTA 4 sessions going on. You've got Modern Warfare 2 going on. You got uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. There's, there's 13 sessions on, on this thing already. Okay? And it's uh, mid afternoon. And of course, over here, players, you have the players that you can friend on this thing and their prospective servers. Like I said, it's shared amongst four servers. So as you can see, there's a bunch of people online. A bunch of actually 60 people online right now. This is just on the matchmaking service for X Community. That's not Microsoft's uh, uh, matchmaking service, by the way. All right, so there's plenty more on there. All right, and then of course you got your settings. You got enable features, custom matchmaking, custom HUD button, force mod, uh, force modded matchmaking, change your online status, change your username, and save your settings. Okay. Now, scrolling over, in the fifth tab, you'll see our cheats. Okay, these are all posts that are streamed from a server. To disable A, enable A. When you enable the cheat, when you go to the game and you go to the multiplayer session, okay, what will happen is left-hand side of the screen, you will see a little menu pop up. Follow the instructions and then you too can give someone a bad day. All right? So we'll bring this back home now. And there you have it. So, Dexter, my crazy friend, thank you for your business. I greatly do appreciate it. We're going to be shipping it off on Tuesday because, unfortunately, it's Columbus Day on Monday. And all federal offices and everything else are closed for Monday. Ugh. So anyway, okay, you'll, after when we ship it out, you'll have it in two to three days. You're going to get an email with a tracking number and also a startup setup video, which you need to watch before you power this thing on because you've got to put it on your network first. Once you do that, everything is fine and dandy. There's a lot of caveats in that, uh, in that video. So I suggest that you watch them because it will teach you how to work the operating system which is very important as well. Copying and pasting files and folders, all that kind of good stuff, putting stuff in the right area. That, that video covers it all. So, you know, there you go. All right. So again, thank you for your business, Dexter. I greatly do appreciate it, brother. We're going to say goodbye to Dexter. All right. And 
uh, let's fire up here. Let's see who we got here. Who's next? Ah, Patrick Van Kirk. Okay, Patrick, this one is yours. This one is a 500 gig model. Okay, we bought this off of our website. All right, and all these come loaded, ready to go, out of the box with a one-year part and labor warranty. Okay, so, uh, you know, when you get one of these things, they're fully loaded. It's not just RGH. I'm not an idiot that just solders two wires on a freaking motherboard and says, yeah, there you go, it's RGH. No, you're going to get a full service console with me with a one-year part and labor warranty. Okay, so, anyway, Patrick Van Kirk. Okay, 500 gig. All right, let's fire it up. Let's see what it does. Well, I don't see any smoke coming out of it, so that's a good thing. Okay, that's a good sign. All right. Now, as you can see, we put it up. Okay, now this one's got a lot of content on it. It's 500 gig. Okay, so there is a lot of content on this crazy thing. Let me sync up this controller here. All right, there we go. All right, and we're going to boot up into Aurora, of course. We're going to get our notifications from our server, letting us know that it's online live and all that other happy nonsense. We're good to go. There we are. All right. Now, okay. We'll go to Xbox 360, okay? Now, of course, this thing is going to have a ton of titles on it, actually. So, let me see here now. Wait a minute. Yep, there we go. All right. Okay, start up at the dashboard, okay? Work our way through. Afro Samurai, Battlefields, Call of Duty's on there. You got a ton of Call of Duty's on there. Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, Call of Duty World of War. You got your College Hoops 2K8, Crisis 2, Defiance, Dragon Ball, MMA, Fable 2, Gears of War series, um... Your Grand Theft Auto series, this has episodes of Liberty City, as well as the original Grand Theft Auto 4. Okay, Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas. Okay, it's got Halo on it. You got your Mass Effect trilogy, Medal of Honor, Midnight Club, Minecraft, Mortal Kombat, more Mortal Kombat, NBA 2K16. And then, of course, you've got College Football Revamped on there, version 18. All right, you got PGR4, Red Dead Redemption. You got all kinds of good stuff. Sonic, okay, Super Street Fighter, Test Drive, Sims. Ghost Recon, Tomb Raider, uh, UFC 3, Warface, and Wolfenstein, okay? So you got a ton of titles on there. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, no difference. You got, 40, you got 43 titles on uh, Xbox Live Arcade as well. Then, of course, you have your homebrew section where your tools reside. Then you have your indie games on there. There's some indie games on there. Of course, you got classic games on there. Now, these are OG original games, okay? These you have to run in bypass mode. I, I cover bypass mode in the startup setup video. You need to watch, okay? You got to put it in bypass mode in order to play the original OG games on an Xbox 360. It's got to be put into compatibility mode, all right? So anyway, you got uh, you got six titles on the uh, on the classic games, and then emulators, okay? You got whoops, I forgot to. Uh, that needs to change right there. So we'll go here, yes, because this is FCEUX, okay? This is for this is uh, this is Nintendo here. All right, so anyway, all right, we start off here. We've got Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. All right, there's over 8,000 ROMs on there. You don't have to load any ROMs or anything. It's already on there. Unless you have specific ROMs that you want to put on there, you can. Okay, that's the whole beauty of an RGH. All right, now, we'll go ahead, Xbox 360. We'll hit the dashboard, make sure that she's right and tighten up. Yep, hello again, Patrick Van Kirk, you're on Alliance Live. Okay, there you are. Currently have 120 reserve days left. Got it good. Okay. And as you can see, there's our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD there. And, uh, you know, there's your X community, of course. And then over here in your PIP tab, you have your cheats. Okay. To disable A, enable A. And like I said, when you enable it, you start your multiplayer game. Lower left corner of the screen, you'll see a set of instructions. Follow them. And you too can give someone a beautiful, beautiful mohawk with a bunch of freaking rifle bullets and stuff like that. All right, so we'll bring this back, and there you have it. Patrick, listen, thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. Okay, you're a gentleman and a scholar. We'll be shipping it off on Tuesday, and you'll have it in two to three days. You're going to have to sign for it, of course, and please watch the startup setup video that I send to you in the link. All right, so that way then you know how to put this thing on a network, you know, when you get it, okay, because it's got to go on a network first. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting at that Xbox 360 logo for a very long time if you don't, okay? So please watch that video. All right. Let me say goodbye to Patrick. All right. Let's grab hold of Mr. Hunter Kitch. Hunter, my buddy. All right, Hunter. This little puppy is yours. Now, this is a one terabyte model, okay? 
yeah, just when you thought, oh, 500 is a lot. No, no, no. <laughs> this is Mini Beast because I do, we do have two terabyte models as well. Okay, so this is Mini Beast one terabyte model. Okay, so I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll fire this thing up. All right, and let me swap over to the Elgato here. Let me grab hold of this controller right here. Yep, and we'll sync that up. Make sure that she gets all synced up and everything else. There you are. Good. Okay, and now we're going to boot up into Aurora. Of course, we're going to get our notifications from our server and everything. And then what's going to happen is, is we're going to go through this beast. And there is a lot of stuff on this hard drive. It is huge, okay? Um, and uh, you got 293 titles on this thing. Okay, so <laughs> it's pretty big. All right? And it's got a lot of good stuff on it. All right, just to let you know. And please, whatever you do, all right, watch that startup setup video that I'm going to send you. Okay, so you get this set up on your network. you got to set it up on that first. Because if you don't, this thing's going to boot. It's going to go to the Xbox 360 logo and sit there. Because it's looking for a server. Okay, and if it doesn't find a server, it's just going to sit there. Okay, and then after a while, then it's going to boot. But you're not going to be online. Okay, so please watch that startup setup video. Alright, make sure to. So then that way then you don't have any problems or anything like that. Alright, now, let's check this out here. Xbox 360, okay. Start off at the dashboard and we'll work our way through. You know, Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, Battlefield, all your Call of Duties on here. Okay, Call Troops, 2K8, Crisis 2, Defiance, MMA, Fable 2, Fight Night Championship, Gears of War series, Grand Theft Auto series, Ghost Recon, uh, Halo series, Hitman, Kane and Lynch, Kane and Lynch, Madden 25, Mass Effect Trilogy, Medal of Honor, Midnight Club, Minecraft, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, NBA 2K10, through NBA 2K17, NBA Jam, NCAA Football 10, through NCAA Football 14, NHL 12, okay, PGR 4, Pop Cap Collection, your Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row, uh, Saw, uh, Saw 2 and Saw 3, Skyrim, okay, a bunch of wrestling on there, Sonic Unleashed, okay, Super Street Fighter, Test Drive, Sims 3, TNA Impact, uh, Tomb Raider, UFC 3, Ultima, and then of course your uh, Warface, Wolfenstein, more wrestling on here, a ton of that as well, okay? And we're back to the dashboard. So as you can see, uh, yeah, 87 titles in Xbox uh, in Xbox 360. Now go to Xbox Live Arcade, all right? And there you have 119, all right? So you have a ton, and I mean a ton, of Xbox Live Arcade that you can play on this thing as well, all right? Then, of course, you have your homebrew section. This is where your tools reside. And then you have classic games on here. Now you got a ton of classic games on here. You got 46 titles of original OG. Okay, and these you have to play in bypass mode. The the, the, the Xbox has to has to be in bypass mode in order to use the compatibility of, of emulator for the original Xbox. Okay, and I discuss and I discussed that right in the video in the startup setup video. So as you can see, now some of the titles don't have artwork. Some of them do. All right, but it doesn't mean a bit of difference because they all work. Okay, so there you go. And you got a ton of titles on there as well. All right. Now, <clears throat> indie games. Yeah, you got a load of indie games, including cleavage, okay? Including, that's going to cost me a lot of money. This is going to really cost me a freaking fortune. And this one right here is going to cause me a disease. <laughs> okay? So anyway, yeah. You got some indie games on there. Emulators, all right? Now you got a ton of emulators on there. You got Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, PlayStation emulator, back to Super Nintendo. Okay, so there is a ton of emulation on this thing as well. And yes, it does play PS1. It does play so it, does, it plays them all. Okay, so, you know, there you go. Now, we'll go ahead, Xbox 360. We'll bring it back. We'll make sure that she's up on the network. And let's see what we got here. There you are. Well, again, Hunter Kitch. You're on Alliance Live. Welcome to it. You got 120 reserved days left. Got it good? Okay. Bypass the sign. Now, when it does that, that is an idiot error because what happens is is it trips XHTTP. Okay, so you get this error here. Okay, now more than likely what you do is you go on over here, go to settings, go to system, go to network settings. Okay, hit your Wi-Fi, and then just test the Xbox Live connection. That should clear it up. If it doesn't, then there's a setting in Dash Launch that has to be changed, which is no big deal, and I will show you just in case. So then that way, then if if that happens in the future, you know where to go. All right, because sometimes this is what happens. It just it just does that for some reason. Don't know why. Just lovely Microsoft and their ways. See, so it is connected. Okay, so we're good there. All right, we already tested it. 
All right, now, what we'll do is we'll go back here, go back to Xbox Home, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go into Dash Launch, okay? Some people don't even know what Dash Launch is, <laughs> and they need to. That's why I tell people, please do your research on these things before you buy them, or watch my video that shows everything about the system, because if you don't, you're going to be lost. It's that simple, all right? So I don't want to see anyone lost. I want them to be able to you know, use this damn thing, okay? Because that's what the idea is, is being able to use it and utilize everything that's on it. You know what I'm saying? So, that's the reason why I go through this. Now, this thing, come on, don't play with me. Sometimes a stupid thing, it takes it a minute for the cache to build in the hard drive. It just does that. Then once it's built, it's fine. Okay, there you go. It's dash launch, all right? We'll hit that. Now, we'll go to network. Yes, and you see XHTTP, it is enabled. That does never needs to be enabled. Disable that, okay? Now, it's all red. Hit RB. Highlight HDD. X to save it. B to back out. All right. And now what we'll do is now we'll go to Xbox. Now we'll go to uh, the original Xbox dashboard, okay? Because once that's saved now, it's going to restart itself. All right. And like I said, I don't edit my videos, okay? Everything is real, okay? So, you know, I mean, I'm not going to take 10,000 takes to make a perfect video because nothing is perfect. Okay, remember that, okay? So, Xbox 360 dashboard, we'll hit that. Now, we will see. All right, and there you go. And, of course, she's up and she's online and she's ready. That one simple setting can cause a lot of frustration. So, please, whatever you do, guys, if you get that, if you get that error, make sure that XHTTP is off, okay? Because that the end result is this thing not being online, all right? Now, all right, now that that's done, we'll hit the guide button. There's your X community, of course. And then, of course, in your fifth tab, you have your cheats. To disable, A. Enable, A. When you enable it, of course, when you go down to the, uh, when you when you go to the multiplayer section of the game, lower left corner of the screen, you'll see a set of instructions. Follow them and uh, pretty much give people a bad day. All day. All right? So, anyway, there you have it, Hunter. All right? Thank you for your business, brother. I really do appreciate it. We're going to ship it off on Tuesday. You'll have it in two to three days. Remember, you have to sign for it. Also, in your email, you will get that link to the startup setup video that I keep talking about. Why do I keep talking about it? Because even when people buy a console from me, they don't watch the video. They skip right through it. They don't bother to look at the link. And then they're messaging me going, why can't I get it online? Why is it stuck at the Xbox 360 logo? Did you watch the video? What video? Uh, I feel like Lurch. Oh, okay, so please watch that video guys very important that you do all right now we're gonna say goodbye to Hunter here All right next one Trevor the Pew Trev baby this one is yours. Okay, this one is a 320 gig drive. All right now Trinity model sexy little model Okay, and I'll tell you what we'll do. We're going to fire it up, swap over to the capture card, and now you will see the 320 gig complements. Okay? I sync this controller up here. And all of these boot like a beast. Like I said, they're RGH 3.0. No chips, chipless install. So, uh, pretty much they're, they're, they're an awesome little machine, that's for sure. It really, really makes these things boot nice. Because I remember the days when we had to use a chip and we had to do all kinds of crazy wiring and we had to do all kinds of crazy timing files and we had to adjust timing files do all kinds of crazy stuff to get in the boot within one to three cycles if you guys don't remember that then you weren't around when i was around okay so all right let's go through this thing okay xbox 360 you start off at the dashboard you got some battlefield on there you got borderlands on there you got call of duties on there all right you got your uh, college troops 2k you got your gears of war series your grand theft auto series your Halo series, Mass Effect Trilogy, Minecraft, okay, Modern Warfare 3, College Football Revamped, version 18, of course, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row, and, of course, back to the dashboard. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, of course, you have your Live Arcade on there as well. There's 25 titles of Live Arcade. Your homebrew section, where your tools reside. Then, of course, you have your classic games. you got Midnight Club 3 Dub Edition on here. All right, and to play the classic game, like I said, you got to put it in bypass mode. Okay, in order for the compatibility emulator to work. Okay, otherwise you're going to get a black screen if you don't. All right. Now, indie games. You got a couple indie games on there. 
emulators Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, back to Game Boy Advance. Yes, they're all fully loaded with ROMs, so you don't have to go crazy all on the internet going to ROM Nation and all that crap. They're already there, okay? Unless there's something that you want to put on there, which you can't, okay? Now, I'm going to bring this over, Xbox 360. We'll hit the dashboard, make sure that she's right and tight and up on the network. Got it, good, okay. Hello again, so there's a few. You're on the lines live, good, got it. All right. Bypass the sign in, and there you are. You're up, you're online, you are live. Our eyeball pleasing HUD with X community, of course. And then we have our cheats over in our fifth tab. Disable A, enable A. Follow the on screen instructions when you start the game in the lower left corner of the screen. And you too can make someone miserable. Okay? So we'll bring this back home. <coughs> and pretty much there you have it. Trevor, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. We're shipping it off on Tuesday. You'll have your tracking number. You'll have a link to the startup setup video. And you're going to have to sign for this thing. So remember. So, uh, you know, it takes about two to three days to get to you. All right. Thank you so much for your business, brother. Really do appreciate it. All right. Let's say goodbye to Trevor here. Working through them, guys. Working through them. All right. Now, Mr. Joe Sanchez. Mr. Sanchez. This one is yours, buddy. Okay. Now. Joey purchased this one off the website from us. 320 gig variant. Alright, we're going to fire it up. I'm going to hit the Elgato capture card here. Okay. The system booted, of course. There you are. I'm going to sync this controller up here. Alright. People think I do these videos to blow my own horn. No, I don't. I want everybody who bought from me to see their consoles working. That way they know, hey, it's working when it left. Okay. Because God forbid something happens, you know. I mean, you know, even if the even if the post office like fumbles it or whatever, like like Alabama did last night several times, and it winds up being on the field, you know, getting kicked and, and, and screwed around and everything else, just know my warranty covers that too. Like I said, I'll cover the post office problems. I have in the past. I've always I always have, including lost packages. Yes, cost me money, but you know what? I'd rather have it cost a little than cost a lot later. So, you know, like I said, I care about my customers and I care about everybody that buys one of these damn things. I want to make sure that they're happy. Now, yeah, and unfortunately, there's some people that don't even bother to message me if they do have a problem and then I find out and then they're like, oh, and then I message them, I fix the problem. They're like, wow, I didn't know it was that simple. I'm like, oh, you're killing me. <laughs> That's the problem with these things. A lot of people don't realize how simplistic things can cause such chaos okay that's why i tell you please watch that damn video that i made so you understand what's going on in the background you got to understand that because remember this is not an xbox anymore it is a power pc it is modified it, i mean it has microsoft's footprint don't get me wrong but at at the end of the game what you're looking at is a power pc okay that's what you're looking at so anyway with that we start off at the dashboard here Here's our Xbox 360. We got Battlefields, Borderlands, Call of Duties, mm -hmm, all kinds of good stuff. Cloud Hoops 2K8, Gears of War, Grand Theft Auto, Halo, Mass Effect, Minecraft, College Football Revamped, of course, version 18, Red Dead Redemption, and Saints Row. Xbox Live Arcade. All right, you got a ton of Live Arcade on there as well. I have 25 titles of it. Homebrew section where your tools reside. Of course, you got your classic game on there. Remember, you got to put it in bypass mode. Okay, I know I'm harping, but that's what I do. All right, here's your indie games on here. And then you have your emulators. Game Boy Advance, Sega, Main, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, back to Game Boy Advance. And, of course, we'll go ahead. We'll hit the dashboard, make sure that she's up. Okay, yep, got it, good. Okay, bypass the sign-in. Yes, and you two are online. All of my consoles come with their original KB that is unbanned. Okay? I'm not going to give you a console that has a banned KB and then tell you, oh, well, you got to buy a KB. What kind of service is that? Okay. I love that. I heard that, yes, I heard that yesterday. Somebody bought a console from a guy or whatever, some, some maniac off the street or whatever, and the guy said, well, it's just RGH. Didn't set up any files on it or anything like that. And then the poor guy, it, it, he... The KV was no good. I'm like, buddy, it sounds like you got some prop, man. And he just said to me, he said, I shouldn't have. I was like, oh, you think? <laughs> oh, my God. 
Alright, you're gonna do it. Do it right. Or don't do it at all. Don't touch the fucking thing. If you're after the, the quick money, you know what? In the end, you're gonna get, you're gonna get blacklisted. You're gonna get labeled a, a, an idiot. And you know what? The end of the story is, you don't sell anymore. Okay, so make sure that they're right before you sell them. Do me a favor, okay? So, anyway, here we are. We're at our, uh, we're at our, our, our original dashboard right here. We'll hit the guide button. As you can see, it's up, it's online. You got X community on there. And then of course you have your, uh, you have your cheats to disable A, enable A, simplistic cheats that work very well. Um, lower left corner screen, after you launch the game, you'll see the, uh, the you'll, you'll see a set of instructions, follow the instructions, select your menu options and off you go. All right, now we'll bring that back to Xbox Home and there you have it. Joey, thank you so much for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. We're shipping it off on Tuesday. You'll have it in two to three days. You'll have a tracking number, and you'll have a link to the startup setup video in that email as well. All right? So thank you so much for your business, bro. Really do appreciate it. Thank you once again. All right. Now, let's think about Joey. All right. Let's see here. Now, this is rather a long one, but I've been busy. Okay? I've been busy. I've also been doing a lot of OG consoles. Right now, I'm doing an NHE uh, server, Halo server for a guy. It's going to be strictly for a server, so we're going to do some hot rod things to it to make sure that this thing make sure that it speeds up and that he's happy because he launches all of these Halo uh, contests and he's got this land and he's got like friggin' twenty of them you know, set up and you know so it's crazy and him and his him and his friends and business guys and they all get together and they have this massive Halo thing you know on a local area network which is nuts you know I mean when I found out what he was doing. I was like, oh my god. <laughs> he showed me a setup. It's pretty freaking wild. Alright. Now, Mr. Harold Edwards. 320 gig drive. Okay. RGH 3 Fire it up. Let's see what it does. Go ahead. Swap over to the Elgato capture card here. There we go. System booted, of course. Get better. Oh my god. <laughs> Had a lot of iron time over the weekend, as you can see. I still got a lot more to go. Like I said, a lot more. Oh my god. All right, now, we're going to boot up. We're going to get our notifications from the server. Again, with the 320 gig, they are very popular, and that's because they have a pretty much balanced, um, you know, content. And, uh, you know, they're also on sale on our website. When you hit Get Spooky on the website, you'll see that, uh, you'll hit that button, and you'll see how much you're going for. The 120, 250, and 320, we have a sale on. And, uh, you know, and then, of course, we have our mega sales, which is the usual page. And, you, you know... The prices are really good now. So, you know, hope you guys enjoy it. Because once October's over, those prices are gone. These systems are gone. Period. I got a good deal on 320 and 250 and 120 gig uh, hard drives. So, uh, pretty much, uh, I thought I would pass the savings on to you guys. All right. Now, Harold. Okay, this one is yours. Let's go ahead here. Whoop. Got to sync the controller. Sorry about that. There we go. All right. Now we're good. Okay. Good deal. All right, Xbox 360, start off at the dashboard. Again, pretty much the same complement, as you can see, 320 gig. Very balanced, very very nice little complement to start off with. And, of course, you can add a USB drive to this thing, regardless of what some people say, because they don't know how to set it up, and they probably never will, because they don't want to listen to any to instructions. All right? However, though, you can get a, a, an external USB drive, make a, make a games folder, put the games in there, add it to the content, Scan for the new content. Okay, remember to scan for your uh, for your title updates and everything in Aurora, and then pretty much uh, yeah, you too can take advantage of you know up to two terabytes on an external USB drive. Okay. Oh, we got College Football Revamp, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row, so on and so forth. Now, Xbox Live Arcade. You got 25 titles of Xbox Live Arcade. You have your homebrew section where your tools reside, of course. Your classic game, Midnight, Midnight Club Three Dub Edition. Indie games, okay, and then we got our emulators, okay. You got you got NES emulator, Game Boy Advance, Sega, Mame, Super Nintendo, back to Nintendo. All right, now we'll go ahead. We'll make sure that she's up and on the server. Hit the dashboard. There you go. Got it. Good. Okay. So sign in, and there you are, and you're up. You're online with a good KB. Hitting the guide button, okay. X community, of course. And then in our pip tab, our cheats, disable A, enable A, launch the multiplayer game, and then follow the on-screen instructions on the lower left corner of the screen, and uh, have a blast. 
bring this back to Xbox Home. And pretty much there you have it. Harold, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. Shipping it off on Tuesday. You'll have your tracking number. It'll be two to three days. And then you're going to have to sign for it once you get it. All right? So thank you once again. I greatly do appreciate it. All right? And we got one more now. Okay? Never thought I'd make it to the end. Holy mackerel. Okay. All right. Ah, let's see here now. Mr. Ryan Davey. Ryan, how you doing, eh? Okay. Ryan purchased this console off the website. This one is a 320 gig also. That's a very, very popular package. All right. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we'll fire this bitch up. All right. I'm going to swap over to Elgato. Let me sync this controller up here. Okay. And then we're going to go through this one. All right. Make sure that she's all good to go. Because once they leave, once they leave this shop, they go to my wife's office. And then she goes ahead and she wraps them all up and everything else. So, <laughs> and I can see her being very pissed off when I walk in there with seven con. Here you go, hon. Have fun. <laughs> yes, that's when she usually she throws her pencil holder at me or whatever or threatens me with a, with a razor knife. All right. So, anyway. Okay, as you can see, we put it up. Okay, life is good. Xbox 360, start off with the dashboard. We'll work our way through. A bunch of Call of Duties on there, your Modern Warfare, your College Hoops, your Gears of War, your Grand Theft Auto, your Halo, your Mass Effect Trilogy, your Minecraft, College Football Revamped, of course, Red Dead Redemption, Saints Row, and back to the dashboard. Now, Xbox Live Arcade, okay, you got 25 titles of Xbox Live Arcade. You have your homebrew section where your tools reside. And, of course, you have your classic game on there. And then we have our indie games on there as well. And we have our emulators. You got Game Boy Advance, Sega, MAME, Super Nintendo, Nintendo, back to Game Boy Advance. All right. Now, we'll go ahead. We'll hit the dashboard. Make sure that she's right. Snappy little machine. Got it. Good. Bypass the sign-in. And as you can see, it's up. It's online. And it's live on our server. You all get four months on my server for free. See, after that, you can go to the uh, website. And you can check, uh, you, you can go ahead and purchase a token. And then what you do is you come on, you come on the, uh, on the site, you come on Alliance. You go to check Alliance token, hit it. Okay. And then you enter the token and your time will be added. Okay. That's simple. Then Alliance Live Info for, for information. There's your information right there. When we update it, that, that screen, of course, is going to be updated as well. All right. Now. Okay. So we're up, we're online. Here's our guide, our beautiful eyeball pleasing HUD. X community, of course. And our cheats. Disable A, enable A. Start the game up. Lower left corner of the screen. Follow the instructions. And you two can have, uh, well, pretty much um, uh, guidance systems on your bullets and everything else, okay? So <laughs> make people's lives miserable, for sure. So anyway, there you have it. All right? So, Ryan, thank you for your business, brother. I greatly do appreciate it. It's going off on Tuesday. All right, you'll have your tracking number, you'll have all your information, you'll have a link to the startup setup video, and remember, you have to sign for this package. All right, so again, thank you so much. Guys, hope you all have a great day. Um, I'm just going along, and I've got a bunch more consoles to do, so that's exactly what I'm going to do right now. Hope you all have a good one. I'll let you later, guys. Take it easy.